filling in for Tommy O'Brien. However, we actually have a surprise. I believe we actually are joined by Tommy O'Brien. Tommy, how are you doing? Jacob Shoopman, thanks so much for filling in, doing such a great job while I've been uh, away, recovering a bit. A little bit surreal, but it feels great to be back on air and um, and saying hello to everybody, man. feels great. Absolutely. It's great to see you. So how you been doing? So I've been doing good, and boy, I got quite a story. So I know you're aware, and again, Jacob, man, I know everybody knows this, but thank you so much for filling in for me. You've done such a great job, um, of course, and I, we couldn't do it without you, man. Um, and yeah, so so to kick things off, no matter what, bottom line is I'm feeling great. I'm going to make a full recovery, but boy, I got quite a story, man. We'll jump right into it. Um, so I've been gone four weeks and a couple days. Today, today is Tuesday, and I've been out, I think, four weeks, and today is coming into that fifth week, basically. And to give everyone a little bit of a, a quick take of what happened, man, bottom line is uh, late March, I found out I had a brain tumor. And thank God, nothing to do with cancer or anything like that. It was a benign, slow-growing brain tumor. I had having some sight issues that popped up. And I went to the doctor. And the reason why I really want to tell everybody this, folks, is because, man, talk about a lesson in, in – I was very fortunate, bottom line. I'm going to make a full recovery. That's all that matters. I'm still recovering. Um, but I had some sight issues that popped up around my birthday, March 20th. I was very fortunate to have a primary doctor visit that was scheduled on March 21st. I went into my doctor, normal checkup. I said, man, I got some issues going on with my sight. He said, well, you just turned 44. You know, things happen. He says, let's get you to a an eye doctor to kick things off. And I said, okay. He said, you know, worst case, and then we'll ramp it up if, if, if something happens. And so what happens is I go into them. And bottom line is, folks, don't wait. Okay, that's going to be the story of what's going on here, right? You know, this healthcare deal and how everybody is just kind of a pawn, unfortunately, in 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 the system. And you can't blame the doctors, man. You know, they're they're full. They got their their slate of things going on. You are the only one that can take accountability for yourself. So if you get one thing out of this, okay, remember this. So very fortunate. So I think March 20th was a Wednesday. I see my ophthalmologist. No, I see my, yeah, March 20th was a Wednesday. I see my primary doctor, March 21st, which is a Thursday. They get me in to my, to an eye doctor on that Friday, March 22nd. They say, you know what? These things happen, but just uh, to make sure things are all right. And believe me, I'm still recovering. I'm going to show you some pictures, man. And, and I appreciate you filling in, Jacob, because, you know, I can't wait to be back for the full hour. But I still got right some recovery, only a month out from some pretty serious brain surgery. And thank God I had a great <laughs> surgeon. I'm going to bring him up, Mr. Frank Rionis of Boca Raton Regional Hospital, who took great care of me, the whole team there. And so Friday, I see the ophthalmologist. They say, these things happen. You're having some eye issues. It's it's um, six nerve palsy. And sometimes this stuff happens, I guess. It happens if you have diabetes, if you have a pressure in your brain. And so what happens is, is they say, you know what, though, we're just going to be careful. We're going to send you for a brain MRI. So, okay. And so first thing that happens is I'm calling around for MRIs, okay? Two weeks out, three weeks out. Man, I call Moffitt Cancer Center. I say, where do you guys? Can you guys do brain MRIs? They say, we're booking out to June or July. I said, what is going on, man? Thank God I stayed on the phone, folks. I made like 13 phone calls. I found somebody that could see me Monday for a brain MRI, right? Get the brain MRI done Monday, March 25th, I think it is have to chase those results down. I get those March 28th. I'm able to see a neurosurgeon the same day, this guy, Frank Mionis. I drive all the way to Boca, because I'm familiar with this guy. I've had some spinal surgeries before, unfortunately. See him on the 28th. Bottom line is, man, I had a brain tumor the size of a golf ball in my head. And thank God, like I said, slow growing benign, had been in there for like 10 or 15 years, they think. And um, they went in, they got it out. I got a lot of numbness still. What happens is you got nerves, of course, in your brain, and those are going to take a little time. So my eye is adjusting a little bit on my right side. Um, but I was having some pretty severe things ramped up really quickly, man. March 20th, I just kind of started having symptoms. And by the time they did the surgery on Monday, April 8th, I was having massive migraines. I couldn't sleep. Um, my sight was severely impacted. I was having double vision on my eyes. And um, so here, I'll give you a couple glimpses, all right? Here we go. So this is a quick glimpse of my brain MRI. You want to see something gas, wow. folks, okay? Pretty freaking unreal, right? So I see this. It's the shock of my life, of course. You know, I got Tommy, <laughs> who's three years old. That's the biggest fear out there. 
Um, and you can see how crazy it is, man. You know, I saw that thing. Thank God, okay, that it's a benign tumor. It's all they had to do was go in there and get it out. Thank God they went in there, they got it out. Um, to show you what they did, man, there is my freaking head right now. You can see, look, look, it looks beautiful, man. It's going to be now. That was like two days after it happened, all right? And I'm sharing everything with you. I got, we got a great community out here. Yeah. And I'm sharing it because, number one, you got to take accountability for your own health, period, folks, okay? Um, my surgeons told, told me, okay, now my surgeon, I'll bring him up. If you need a neurosurgeon ever, folks, this gentleman, okay, the whole team. Now, I had originally, he, this guy was originally, this gentleman was the head of neurosurgery at Moffitt. And I had had a small tumor in my spine that was nothing years ago, and he did a great surgery on me. I went and saw another doctor at one point in Moffitt, was completely unhappy with that neurosurgeon. This guy now runs the Marcus Neuroscience Institute at the Boca Raton Regional Hospital in Boca. So I said, you know what? It's only a three-hour drive. That's nothing when you get your health. I went over there, saw him on that 28th of March, and right away he said, yeah. He said, you know, unfortunately, this is what it is. Fortunately, it's probably a benign tumor from the MRIs they could tell. He said, we don't know until we go in there we get it out. They scheduled me for surgery March 8th. I was literally out of the hospital two days later, spent a few days in Boca. Absolutely amazing, him and his whole team out there. Now, the other gentleman I'll give some props to as well, um, David Croce, okay? This guy is at USF in Lakeland. I got a second opinion from him. Always get a second opinion no matter what. I trust everyone is with my life, literally. This guy was amazing as well. If you're in the Lakeland area, this guy called me 6.30 at night one night, just giving me a second opinion. He brought my case to the tumor board um, at Tampa General. Outstanding gentleman in his own right. Um, both these guys, just very thankful. Um, but, boy, Frank Brionis, man, you know, um, just a tremendous guy, taking great, great care of me. And, yeah, you talk about life, folks. Now, I'll give you it all. This is, this is you know, I'm doing well, folks, all right? I'm recovering. This is all post-surgery pitches, all right? Me and Tommy were chilling out on the floor. He's playing with the switch. <laughs> This is only like 10 days out from surgery, hanging out in the bed, all right? Um, and there we are, the little man all fired up in his buzz outfit. Okay, so things are good. And yeah, enjoy every day, folks, because you talk about a shocker, man. Um, March 20th, my birthday, I got two margaritas. We ate at Cheesecake Factory at the Brandon Mall in Florida. And I was driving home and had some sight issues. I said, what is going on, man? I was having double vision driving home. Thank God, timing is everything, but stay on it, okay? That's the thing. If I had waited for a two-week, three-week MRI, that alone, if I had waited, just just stay on it. That's all I can tell you about your health, man. Um, get second opinions. Find somebody. You're the only person that's going to care about yourself, unfortunately, when you go into this type of situation. And the bottom line is enjoy every day, folks, because, boy, you talk about a shocker, man. Um, and it's a new perspective on life. And I'm back, baby, Absolutely. and I feel great. And, and, and Jacob, thanks again for filling in. And I can't wait to be back for the hour. Um, I'm trying, you know, I'm getting there. It's a little bit of a recovery, folks, as you can imagine, but you can see. I mean, I'm, you know, I'm doing great. I'm doing phenomenal. I'm just taking a little time to make sure I'm good. You got to give the body a little bit of time to heal. And uh, hey, enjoy every day, man, because life is a mystery to be lived, as they say. So, Tommy, Jacob, thanks again, man. Absolutely. And, and seriously, thank you so much, because you're doing an outstanding job. I watch you every day, of course, and we're lucky to have you. And uh, to the folks out there, I'm in the den every day watching it as well, watching that market. How can I not be? And it feels great to, even even right now, feels great to be back on the air. I wasn't sure how it would feel, but it feels great. Totally. So, I'm looking forward to watching the interview coming up with our man, Teddy Kegstad. And uh, I'm looking forward to being back, all right? We're so happy to have you here, Tommy. Um, you, you look great for everything. And uh, I, Thanks, I know I speak man. for everyone uh, in the den in, in TFNN that we, we can't wait for you to be uh, fully back. It's going to be awesome. So. I can't wait. Awesome. Jacob, thanks so much, pal. Everybody out there, I see it in the den. I appreciate all the kind words, all that stuff. Um, I appreciate it all, and I can't wait to be back. So love you guys, and, uh, and I'll be watching. I'll be back, all right? Good deal, Tommy. We'll talk to you soon. Okay, awesome. Thanks so much, Jacob. Take care, guys. We'll be right back with Teddy Kekstad. To Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when